The following review is on the brand new Transformers Legacy United core class figure, Boulder Crash. Stay tuned. <laughs> And today we're doing our brand new first ever Transformers Legacy United and Fernac Universe Boulder Crash. First, take a look at the package Transformers Hasbro. It is the Fernac Universe Boulder Crash. Uh, there he is in his motorcycle. There is the side of him in a, in a motorcycle mode. There is the brand new 40 years of Transformers. All right, it is in Fernac Universe Boulder Crash. 10 steps from Trike. To robot and he's an armorizer all right let's get this guy open and see how cool he is <coughs> i'd already take him out <clears throat> on video but somehow there's no volume so we're just gonna have to redo this part <clears throat> now <clears throat> when you look at the instructions he does not come transformed correctly so what you gotta do is you gotta move his legs around Straighten him out and flip that thing in the back. And then his weapon <clears throat> goes in his hand. And then you have the transformation steps into the motorcycle. And then you um, you can transform his whole vehicle mode into one weapon. Alright, <clears throat> so to get him into the steps, we just straighten the legs out and rotate him. Straighten the legs out and rotate him. And then you can flip this back. <clears throat> and there is Boulder Crash. <laughs> now, of course, he's all... Whoops. Sorry about that. <clears throat> he's like two different colors. There is a red and a brown. And he's got some red paint mixed in. And we'll take a look at the back. Yeah, he's got this big piece hanging out here. Kind of wish there was a way to do something with it, but there's not. <clears throat> And here's his weapon. Now, in motorcycle mode, it attaches as the front windshield. Like that. <clears throat> and this is also the main weapon in his armorizer mode. So, <clears throat> let's look at Boulder Crash first. So, <clears throat> you got the eyes and a mouthpiece. You got some, looks like, like lava coming out of his body. Uh, you got some down here, some down here. Nice wheels that move. Uh, turn him around. He's got a little backpack, but like I said, this thing sticks out. And that's the only thing about the figure that is <clears throat> um, that I don't like about. But on that, he's pretty cool. And you take the weapon, and he's got a little three millimeter pin, and you can put the weapon in his hand like a gun. Oops. <clears throat> Let's see. There. Now you can hold it as a gun. <clears throat> yep. And that is Boulder Crash. Now, let's do some articulation real quick. So his head is 360 degrees. <clears throat> his arm does do 360 degrees. It goes out. Whoops. I popped it out. <clears throat> goes out that much he's got 90 degree at the elbow and the elbow does rotate 360 degrees now <clears throat> he does have a waist rotation but you gotta get pretty creative with it and then the other arm is the same way uh, let's see his leg kicks up that much kicks back that much kicks out to the side and then you got little thigh rotation and then bends at the knee more than 90 and there's no ankle tiltage and there is boulder crash so pretty cool part of the infernac i'm not really sure what the infernac universe is i think something like the rock lords or something but i will find out <clears throat> all right now let's do some quick comparisons. Now, our first comparison, we're just going to bring out our other core class motorcycles. This is Iguanus, the Decepticon Pretender. And then this is the RC from the Rise of the Beast movie. 
And we're just going to throw in our deluxe crash bar. Our legacy uh, evolution junkie on. <clears throat> All right, now let's okay, first want to do is take the weapon out. <clears throat> then let's see. We're going to take this and we're going to flip this up. Okay. Then we're going to take this little piece and flip this up. All right. Now take the arms and you're just going to fold these back. Alright, and then this point, take this whole front wheel and turn it. Alright, now, on the back, what you're going to do is you're going to rotate the arms. So you want this bottom, this little notch on the bottom, and it's going to plug in right there. So, rotate the arm, and we're going to plug in the bottom. And that's what you got. <clears throat> now, here comes the hard part. What you have to do is rotate at the waist. It will rotate. You just got to finagle it a little. Okay. Now, what you want to do now is you get these tabs into these slots. So bend at the knee. Slide this in. Bend them at the knee. Slide this in. <clears throat> and we're almost done. And that is what the motorcycle looks like now. What you want to do is you want to take this extend it now you got these two tabs right there and you got two holes so you want to line this up just right and then this you'll have this tab we'll just snap in between the hands and there is your motorcycle pretty cool <clears throat> and he rolls really good I love these big thick wheels, <clears throat> but as you can see, he's red, brown, and then some red paint. So, very rock lordy. <laughs> there it is for the front, and it looks like he's got some lava spewing out of his body. Again, there is the side, so he's a trike. Back don't look too bad, and there he is. Overall, <clears throat> a very nice core class figure. Transformation is pretty cool. And, um, all right, well, let's just do comparisons real quick. Okay, and our first comparison will be Iguanas Motorcycle. So they're both core classes. And this guy never likes to stay up. But there's uh, these two. And then we'll bring in RC. Oh, none of these things like to stay up. All right, so RC, another core class. And then we'll bring in our deluxe crash bar. So hopefully the Infernicons are going to be like the Junkians and they'll have their own subline and all that other good stuff. All right, and that's it. Now let's come, let's transform him into a weapon. All right, so what you're going to do is you're just going to take this, extend it back to the original configuration, and it's going to snap in. And you got a 5 millimeter port here. So, we're going to take our crash bar, our junkie on, alright, and we're going to take this, and we're going to put him, oops, actually, we'll take this off, and we'll put him right there, and now you've got the figure as a weapon. Now, very heavy weapon. Now, I tried Ultra Magnus and Rodimus Prime, but their hands open up. So, there you go. And that is the weapon. So, if you look in the back, you've got skids or crankcase. And you have it right there as a weapon. Now, I'm not sure what the arrow is supposed to be for. Uh, I guess you just put the arrow means that you put the 5 millimeter port into his hand. And... <clears throat> that is the weapon mode. So, he's a very big target master. <laughs> and very cumbersome. But that is how... Uh, and look at the box. That is how he is a weapon. Okay. <clears throat> now, what I always do... <clears throat> I always transform these guys back. Because reviewers that only do one way are doing you a disservice because usually it's a lot harder 
to go from robot mode into vehicle mode. And that's why most reviewers start in vehicle mode. So we're going to transform back to the robot real quick. We're going to rotate this like that and take this off. Remember, two tabs, two slots. And then we're going to untab the back. <clears throat> untab this. And we're going to straighten the legs out. Straighten the legs out. Now, this, you want to rotate this. Now, you'll have barely enough clearance, but you will, you can rotate it. And I just knocked his leg off. No biggie. They're just ball and socket joints. All right, and then rotate these sideways. So now the bottom's done. And you take the, the front wheel, <clears throat> move it around, rotate it around, take this piece up. Let's take the arms first, swing them back, and um, they got this little peg right here. This little peg area right here is going to go in that hole, and they'll snap in. And then you could take this piece right here and fold it down and then take the head and put the wheel back and this is a nice tight joint and now we've got boulder crash back to his robot mode and he's a pretty little cool i think they're going after the rock lords this time so um you know i give kudos to, to hasbro for going a different direction and um, bringing in new stuff. I know like they got Crasher, the GoBot, in the last line, in the Velocitron line. So, and this is, I wonder if we can hold it like this. No. His weapon is made for a little pig right there. Like that. So, that is it for this little, uh, our brand new Legacy United Core Class Crash Bar figure. All right, I've got Armada or Energon Megatron coming in, and I've got uh, the Bumblebee or the Rumble um, and Mohawk concept art coming in soon in a few weeks, and I also got the um, Walmart reissue Hound and Hot Rod coming in soon. So uh, I know it's Christmas time, so as soon as I get these videos done, I'll post them. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment below. We have our first Legacy United figure. And if there's a link below in the comments to buy him, go for it from Amazon or Entertainment Earth. Thank you very much. All right. Happy holidays, and we shall see you next time. Rodimus Bill, out.